So today I'll be talking about the Mate 20's AI cinema video modes and right now we're looking at the AI color mode which is basically how they described it as the Sin City like filter. So far you haven't seen anything pop out yet because it mainly focuses on a human subject. So when Darian walks into the shot, as you can tell, it picks him up fairly quickly. With the edge detection, it does pretty good as well. It's not perfect by any sense. Sometimes it can smudge the nose a little bit or the ears and especially the little areas or the little holes created with your arms or like little loops from your bag. Usually they won't pick that up. And if your subject is pretty close, it tends to not pick that up as well. Sometimes it does get glitchy, even if it's just one subject you're focusing on. But for the most part, I do think it's pretty impressive of how they're doing this with just one subject and overall I do like it but I don't think I would use this mode a lot and when you're introducing more human subjects into the shot like when you walk in a city it does jump around and it doesn't know which one you're grabbing or which one it wants to grab sometimes it grabs two sometimes three so overall when you're shooting in the city it's kind of like a random guess like you won't know what you're gonna get it works better when you're in a less busy area as you can tell it works pretty good right now with just me and darian but his face sometimes jumps in and out so it's not perfect you can use the ultra wide angle lens and I think it's even worse because you do see more human subjects in your picture, therefore causing it to be more glitchy. But if you're just shooting at a non-busy area and with one subject, then it should be good. We also tried walking in between things. Thicker things like trees tends to pick up the subject slower, but if you're walking through a skinnier pole, then it picks up the subject really quick. I want to point out right now that his face area is not doing the best right now. You can tell that there's some smudginess going on and the nose is losing color as well. In this shot, you can tell that the AI is holding on to the person all the way on the upper left while Darian is still gray, so shooting in the city is kind of like a hit or miss. And since statues do have that human shape, they do pick them up as well. So for the best results in my testing is to focus on one or two people and just be in a non-busy area. Now besides that mode, they do have this thing called suspense which makes everything blue and black so it gives off a darker tone i guess the whole suspenseful tone so this is nothing crazy everything is in focus so it just applies a dark blue filter on top of your image next up is called vintage and it applies this vintage look on top of your video and when humans walk into the shot it does get blurry so it applies that background blur effect on top of this vintage look when focusing on human subjects i assume it's the same ai technology as the AI color so it does track fairly well. The edges do feel a little bit more soft because of that background blur effect so it's not going to be as sharp as the AI color mode. It would be nice to have some sort of option to turn off the background blur because sometimes you just want to have that vintage look over your image and having people walking through shots it just creates this back and forth of background blur and no background blur so that is very annoying. And if you don't want any of those colored filter looks on top of your video, then they do have a regular background blur effect. And the last AI effect is called Fresh, which is a lighter color than the vintage look. It does still apply the background blur on top of this effect as well. So that is my overview slash testing around with the Mate 20's AI cinema video mode. So I think it's pretty cool but it's not something I would use every day. And sometimes shooting in certain modes, uh, things do get a little bit choppy. I tend to notice mostly on the background blur effects and the response time on the screen tends to lag a second behind. Let me know what you guys think about these modes and if you're planning on using any of these modes on your regular day basis. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.